हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कैलस कल्चर सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो सो कैलस कल्चर एंड समटाइम इट आल्सो कॉल्ड एज स्टैटिक कल्चर सो बिफोर गोइंग इनटू कैलस कल्चर वी शुड नो दैट व्हाट इज कैलस सो कैलस इज अ मास ऑफ अनडिफरेंशिएटेड प्लांट सेल्स यू कैन से इट इज अ मास ऑफ अनडिफरेंशिएटेड एंड अनऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेल्स व्हिच आर जनरली ग्रोन ऑन द सॉलिड मीडिया means when we culture the x plant so there is a stage when the x plant it is de differentiated and it is changed into you can say just a bunches of cells which are undifferentiated and unorganized so that kind of condition is known as callus so in this culture we will discuss about that how we culture the callus so it can be started from you can say the callus culture can be initiated from any x plant like from leaf root stem etc so now let's discuss about steps of the callus culture so if we want to set up the callus culture so we have to follow certain step so first step is the selection and preparation of x plant so in order to perform callus culture firstly we have to select the x plant that which part of the plant we are going to be use as a you can say starting point for callus culture and after selection means the as i told x plant can be any part of the part plant so after selection of x plant it will be prepared prepared preparation means it will be sterilized because x plant was grown on the plant which were outside the you can say lab so it will highly it was highly contaminated with the microbes so in order to make our culture successful we have to decontaminate or you can say we have to sterilize the x plant so x plant is generally sterilized by using chemicals like sodium hypochlorite calcium hypochlorite mercury chloride etc and after sterilization x plant is generally washed and it is now ready for culturing so the sterilization of x plant is generally known as preparation of x plant in the next step we select the culture medium because as i told we are going for the callus culture so there will be a some specific kind of media which will you can say which will be used for the callus culture and the amount of different growth regulator will also be vary because we are going to culture the callus so generally uh, callus culture is you can say performed under the condition where the auxins are high in concentrations as compared to cytokinin auxin and cytokinin both these are growth hormone which are secreted by the plants so in order to make the callus culture we have to add auxin in the concentration more than the cytokinin and generally used auxin they are indole butyric acid ib and naphthalene acetic acid that is na these are widely used auxins for the callus culture then after the selection of medium now the x plant is transferred into the medium as i told the x plant was sterilized so it is surface sterilized x plant which is transferred to the uh, media which contain the media which is specific for the callus culture and after transfer of x plant the next step will be incubation means we will incubate our x plant with the you can say this neuter medium into the incubator and the conditions will be differ from species to species but generally we incubate at 25 to 28 degree centigrade and there will be a dark cycle of 12 hour and this neuter medium it is generally you can say it is supplemented with auxin in order to induce the callus formation so that was about the technique of callus culture that how the callus culture can be performed now what are the factors that can affect the callus culture so one of them is x plant so as i told x plant is the starting point of the callus culture so it will definitely affect the callus culture so the you can say condition of x plant whether it is young or adult and the position of x plant whether it is you can say it is underground part or an aerial part so it will affect the success of callus culture generally it has been seen that the juvenile or you can say the young x plant they give more better result as compared to adult x plants and similarly the position of x plant it also influence the success rate of the callus culture the next factor which affect the callus culture these are growth regulator so growth regulator these are the certain chemicals which regulate the growth of plants 
so in callus culture we add these growth regulator from outside so their concentration and the type of growth regulator used will also affect the success of the you can say callus culture generally the auxins at high concentration they induce the they induce the callus culture the strong auxin like 2,4-D and 2,4-5-T they induce the callus formation and also the you can say the endogenous level or the, the level of growth regulator which is produced from the explant itself it depend upon the xenotype and endogenous level of the explant so this growth regulators level it also affect the x you, you can say that also affect the callus culture the next that is light so light it also affect the callus culture because some plant they require you can say long light and some require the long dark periods similarly temperature is also one of the factor which also affect the callus culture generally we you can say we use the temperature of 22 to 28 degree centigrade media composition it also affect the you can say the callus culture generally we use the moraceous and skug media but we can also add some nutrient like sucrose or glucose and the concentration of 2 to 4 percent it is generally added and uh, you can say after addition it has been seen that there will be you can say more success rate of the callus culture now let's discuss that what are the phases which a cell follow during the callus culture so it follows basic these five phases first the lag phase so here the cell is just prepare to divide I mean, it's not dividing but these are just preparing to divide the next phase is exponential or you can say log phase so it is a phase where the division rate is highest the cells are dividing rapidly after that it is followed by the linear phase in which the cell division it slows down but the rate of expansion is still increasing after the linear phase there will be a deceleration phase where the rate of division and the elongation it is start decreasing means now the rate the cells they are start declining their division rate is start decreasing after that there is a stationary phase which is you can say in this phase the number of the cells and their size it remain constant means they are not uh, dividing the number remain constant so these are the some these are the five phases which is followed by the cells under the callus culture now what are the applications of callus culture so as i told we can make the complete plant from the callus so one of the application of callus culture is that complete or whole plant can be produced from the callus culture secondly we can also study the effect of certain chemicals on the callus and we can also study the biosynthetic pathway of various metabolic process by using the trace element in the culture means by labeling the element and you can say inoculate them into the callus we can particularly study the biosynthetic pathway and we can also study or you can you can say the callus culture we can also use the callus culture for the production of secondary metabolites so secondary metabolites as these are the chemicals which are not primarily required by the plants but these are produced as a defense mechanism so we can also use the callus culture for the production of secondary metabolites so that was all about the applications of callus culture so see you in the next video thank you very much